Well, y'all, we got to get into this episode of Love in Hip Hop Atlanta because are the girls fighting or are the girls fighting? Because Bam or Bambi, or some of y'all say the deer, said all of you bees are fake and weird and it's up as f y'all so we gotta jump into this video and get to the nitty gritty because it seems like all the girls are fighting before we jump into this video guys make sure you go ahead and like the video and if you are not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe and if you are subscribed make sure you enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video I don't have any time for any gossip now. Okay. Eh? Yes. Well, it seems as if Bambi has had enough of these ladies. She said, all of you bees, and y'all do know what I mean when I say bees, you know, itches. Yeah. All of y'all are fake and weird, and it's up ASF. She's saying it's up. She's tired. So, Let's kind of jump into what has been happening. Well, Rashida is not really seeming to me to be Bambi's friend. I'm not sure what really happened between the two of them. But as you guys know, her and Carly Red are into it. And, you know, Carly Red honestly is giving fake storyline because the things she's saying about Bambi and her ex-man, it just sounds crazy. And to be honest, Amy Luciani with this, you know, um, Bambi is talking to her ex. I get it. That's your ex. I get it. She's saying, you know, her and Bambi was building a relationship. But girl, that was 20 years ago. So I get it, but I don't get it. But it seems as if the Bam has had enough of these ladies, honey. And this is what she had to say, that she tired of these fake bees and is up. But let's get into exactly why she made that statement. and look at things in more mature way okay so here's my thing do you want me to scrap the song or are you standing on what you, your words are you still gonna perform the song or do you still want me to put it out no i'm standing on business i'm standing on it okay drop you here Okay, guys, let's jump into this situation. So here's my deal, y'all. And I don't know if it was just me because I be picking up on everything. It just seemed that Rashida was being so shady considering, you know, she was so close to Bambi a couple of seasons ago when she was so against Scrappy and, you know, saying Scrappy wasn't living up to his responsibility or to be in this season and kind of agree with Amy. I think, you know, Rashida probably should have just not said anything because it seems like, you know, Rashida is now taken to Erica and it just seems like she kind of abandoned Bambi. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. The situation with Bambi and Amy, I feel like, so I actually have two responses. My first response is Amy girl is old, get over it. But I can kind of understand why Amy responded the way that she did, because even in the sense that Amy didn't care, I think the way that Bambi responded and what Bambi said about her would have made her have a different response. Because what Bambi pretty much said is, girl, you was never his girlfriend. And how do you know what another adult has going on with another adult? 
you know, men lie. So I would have kind of stayed out of that conversation altogether. But I feel like Amy and Bambi's situation is not really beef. It is a misunderstanding. But I feel like the way Bambi responded could have kind of escalated it because I don't believe Amy really cares or is she just doing this, you know, to make herself have a storyline, right? Now, the... The situation with Carly and Bambi is given very much Carly needs more of a storyline because what Carly is is stating is that Bambi is trying to take her man. Now, girl, you don't even date the guy anymore. So I'm not understanding why you think Bambi is trying to take somebody that you don't even go with. And to be honest, Carly has had so many exes it would almost be impossible not to talk to somebody that she talked to because you done talk to everybody. So I don't think Carly and Bambi's situation is genuine at all, except if you guys remember, Bambi looked to have hit something in a garage and it's, you know, Carly was saying that Bambi expected her to pay for it. Now, I don't know what that's all about, but it seems like if you were the one driving, then it would be your obligation to fix whatever you broke. So I don't know what's going on with that. But um, Bambi is saying all of you bees are fake and weird and it's up. So she's like, look, y'all with the asses, the shits, I'm with it as well. So that's pretty much what we saw happen in this particular episode. And I think my only, when I, you know, watching this episode, the only thing I was, you know, really questioned about was Rashida and Bambi's relationship because it seemed like they were more friends, but I'm, I don't know. It's just starting to see, seem like Rashida is just kind of like a flip flopper. I could be wrong, but it, it seems that way to me. Again, I don't feel like, you know, that the beef with her and Amy is that bad. I just think it's more of a misunderstanding. But again, like I said before, Bambi's response and just not, you know, saying, okay, girl, well, I didn't tell you because it was a long time ago. But to say, girl, I didn't tell you because pretty much, you know, that wasn't your dude anyway. I mean, why are you trying to make yourself seem better than the next woman? So I don't know, guys, but I would love to know what you guys thought with regards to this episode. Do you all think that Bambi was being ganged up on? Or do you feel like these are genuine falling outs? Also, I didn't mention Sierra, which I should have because Sierra also had a problem with Bambi. But it looks like Sierra is like, okay, I'm over it. Me and Bambi can be cool. But the part that is a little weird is that Bambi was like telling Sierra, girl, look, I had my own problems. But now, since it seems like people are not, you know, basically giving a care about Bambi right about now. It seems like now she wants to be back Sierra's friends. I don't know. I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think. And don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, please enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video.